Hi, my name is Greg, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to set up your Micron for a bulb ramping time lapse. If you haven't already watched it, please watch the Micron Getting Started video. Conceptually, taking a bulb ramp is straightforward. Micron needs to adjust the exposure of your images at the same rate that light levels are changing, usually during a sunset or a sunrise. Remember that there's a lot of room for personal taste and creativity in bulb ramping, and the goal of this video is to give you a general understanding as well as a template of settings to get you started. Now, if you are taking your first bulb ramp, we recommend you take test shots the day before or a few days before your actual bulb ramp. Go to your location at the same time of day as your final shot and take a starting shot and a final shot, only changing the shutter speed between the two photos. If you are doing a day to night transition, make sure that your starting shutter speed is between 1 5th and 1 30th of a second, and your final exposure will probably be between 10 and 30 seconds, and vice versa for night to day. The fastest starting shutter speed you can have is 1 30th of a second, and in most cases it's really 1 10th or 1 5th, depending upon the speed of your camera. A Canon 5D can do about 1 30th of a second. I will be using a T1i, and I know from testing that the fastest this camera can trigger in bulb mode is 1 10th, and even then there is still some error. At 1 5th, it works great. Keep in mind that your longest possible shutter speed will always need to be less than your time lapse interval, otherwise, your time lapse will not come out properly exposed. And again, if you are having any issues figuring out what initial shutter speed your specific camera can handle, Please see below for more information. Now as an example, this is the exposure of the starting shot from our bulb ramp. Shutter speed is 2 seconds, aperture is 8, and ISO is 400. And note that in the final exposure, the only thing that has changed is the shutter speed, which is now 8 seconds. Once I have my starting and final settings, I can go into the app and input my data. Now go into bulb ramping and I want my initial exposure to be one tenth of a second. And I want my final exposure to be as close as it can be to 15 seconds. So in this case, that's going to be 1.6 f-stops per 10 minutes. You see that's pretty close to 15 seconds. Duration is going to be 45 minutes and I'm going to do zero minute time delay. Now an example of a good use of the delay is if I wanted to take a one hour 45 minute time lapse but I didn't want the bulb ramping to take place until the final 45 minutes. Then I would just go into the bulb ramping app and I would set my delay as one hour. Also, as a side note, if you ever need to make changes to your settings, make sure that bulb ramping is turned off while you change them. Nothing will go wrong if you don't do this, but you will avoid an error warning like this one and you will save yourself some time. Now that I've created all of these settings, I'm going to undo the time delay and put it back to the duration and interval that I originally wanted and make sure that everything's set there. And once that's organized, I can go back into the advanced settings and now make sure that bulb ramping is turned on. Uh, and now I'm either ready to upload these settings to Micron or what I'm gonna do is save them as a preset so that they're ready for when I go out to my final time-lapse shot. Now, on the day of your shot, make sure your camera is in bulb mode by putting it in manual and then increasing the length of your shutter speed until the word bulb appears on your screen. Once your time-lapse has started, take a look at your first photos and make sure they are consistently exposed. If they are not, you're probably using an initial shutter speed that your camera cannot handle. Again, a quick fix is to just increase the length of the starting shutter speed in the app and upload these new settings. Finally, as you get more comfortable both in the app and knowing what sunrise and sunset exposures are likely, creating and changing your settings in the app will become faster, and in time you may not even need to take test shots before if you shoot in similar locations. The length of sunsets and sunrises are different as you change latitude and season, and the tilt of the earth has an effect as well. This is why we still recommend taking test shots the day before, and more than anything else, just giving yourself some time to practice. Alright, that's everything for this tutorial video. 
We hope you can get out and take some awesome pole ramping time lapses. And as always, if you feel like sharing, we'd love to see whatever you create. Thanks for watching this video.